Welkom op de Ubisoft stand. We staan bij Max. Hij is de creative director voor de Splinter Cell. Ik ga hem wat vragen stellen. Hi Max, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So um, I, I gotta ask, at, you know, at the end of the last Splinter Cell, it looked like Sam had enough. Oh yeah, he definitely had enough. But he's back. Yeah, that was actually a, a good problem for us okay. because I worked on Conviction. So in on Conviction, you know, at the end, him and Grim are not friends anymore. Definitely, they each go their own way. So when we started on Blacklist, we felt that we really needed something strong, something powerful for Sam to accept to come back. So what we've done is we're not really talking about the first minutes of the game, but what I can tell you is that the first Blacklist attack, when that one happens, Sam uh, is uh, definitely you know, at ground zero of that first attack and something happens to someone that he knows very well. I'll just say that. So we wanted to give him you know, a personal motivation to accept to come back and to, 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 to stop the blacklist on top of just being the, the hero that always says yes, says yes. Uh, okay, so. well, that's interesting. Uh, I see where you're going. Uh, now, uh, speaking of the last version, uh, there was a lot of controversy with the interactive torture scenes. Okay. Um, I call them in, uh, interrogations, not torture. Okay, let's, let's call them interrogations Thank then. <laughs> uh, do we still have those? Uh, actually, Blacklist doesn't have any uh, interactive uh, interrogations. Okay. So what we've done is we, we've moved to uh, non-interactive moments when Sam needs to ask questions. Uh, we just felt that we tried a couple of things and we, we, we prototype a couple of, of, of gameplays for those and it just felt like we were, we were creating something that we weren't really talking about. So there was some interactivity that wasn't really meaningful. So we decided to go back to just like having a cinematic where you know you're watching and it's done and then you know you're moving to gameplay. Okay. Now um, uh, Sam is is getting old. Uh, I mean, first game came out 2002, right? Okay. Uh, how do you keep it fresh? Uh, it's always a challenge. I mean, I think what's I'm a big fan of Splinter Cell and I'm a big fan of Sam Fisher. I think he's a super strong, iconic character. I think he, you know, he's different. He's like you said, he's a bit older and you know, he's a bit sarcastic and grumpy. So I think he's, he's a very interesting character. And I think every game, it's my second Splinter Cell game that I make. I, I work on Convic Conviction also. And you know, I, I really want to tell, you know, the stories of Sam, the personal stories of Sam, show, you know, what it's really like to be under all that pressure. And, and for us on Blacklist, it was very interesting to make Make him the leader of Fort Echelon because suddenly he wasn't that guy that was just like, oh, Roger that I'm going. But he's also in in a lot of moments, you know, taking decisions that are impacting other people around him. Some people are questioning him, and like you said, uh, him and Grim, they don't see eye to eye, and and it's very interesting because even when we when we started doing our scripted events and our, our cinematics for the game, we we really worked hard to show that tension. And to have, you know, a, a Grim that was very powerful and that was able to look at Sam straight in the eye and say, "This is not a good idea. We're not doing it." Right. So we had some very, we have some very good moments at the beginning of the game where the team is a little bit more conflicted and not everybody agrees. And then the, the, you know, as the team, you know, and as the game progresses, then the team, you know, finally is able to unite together, and that's how they're they're able to stop the blacklist. I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing what what you guys are working on. So uh, when? When can I see it? That's I think that's what's great is that we're at E3 right now, but we're in stores in two months. Oh, wow. So so August twentieth, we're gonna be you know we're gonna be everywhere on Xbox 360, on PlayStation 3, on uh, Wii U, and on PC. So I, I think I, it's exciting. It's coming out very soon. You know, it's not something that's next, next, next. Later on, it's now. That's fantastic. I just got goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Thank you for joining us, and uh, good luck with the release. Thank you very much.